my channel my name is Shima so today's video is going to be the last update on my birth control next one I've been on next one now for two years um, it's going to actually be two years in July and it's June it says June 28th so July I think 18th will make two years and I have an appointment scheduled today to get the next one removed yes it has to go enough is enough um so if you haven't seen my previous videos i did like a three month update a six month update and i believe a year update of the next one on birth control i'll leave those down below so you can go check those out but i've been on next one for two years now and it's just been a roller coaster so at first when i got on birth control i was bleeding really bad i bled for months i had periods um, for maybe 25 days out of the month, I would, I would be bleeding for 25 days out of the month. Um, I lost a lot of weight. I went from being like a 145 to maybe 118-ish. I'll, like I said, I'll try to insert some clips in case you didn't see that video, but I do suggest going to watch those videos first. So it finally got to a point where my periods were a little bit more regulated and that was cool like I'm just like okay so you'll see my one year update I'm like okay you know just stick tight sis my periods are regulated I'm feeling better but I was so distracted by the bleeding and the periods that I didn't notice everything else going wrong on this birth control so for for one I was in a really bad car accident after that car accident that was in 2010 no 2011 I was in a really bad car accident um, I'll probably go into, go into that in another video, but long story short, it gave me anxiety and, you know, being just post PTSD, post traumatic stress disorder. So I was taking medication for that. And eventually I just took myself off the medication and kind of like self-medicated myself through like books and other activities. So I didn't have to be on medication and my anxiety went away. I have not suffered with anxiety before now since 2012 okay so it's 2019 and I'm just tripping because like the last year I'm not gonna say last year yeah maybe the last year I've been suffering with anxiety like over worrying over stressing panicking about stuff and I come from a family where you know mental health is not discussed the way it should so i didn't have an outlet to tell people anxiety is also irri being irritable um i get i get irritated in like group gatherings like when i'm around a lot of people at family functions stuff like that i find myself getting irritated like i'm ready to go home i can't handle being around people for too long which is really not like me you know what i'm saying just being that irritated with people so i started noticing i was suffering from anxiety to the point where i'm like okay i gotta get a grip and let me see like january i went to the hospital and i explained everything to the doctor and i just broke down you know what i'm saying like when i'm in the doc doctor's office literally boo -hoo. it's like not only do I think you're suffering from anxiety, but I think you're suffering from depression as well, which is not like me. Like, I'm not a depressed person. I'm the kind of person, you know, I take a licking and I keep on ticking. Don't get me wrong. I've been through a lot these last two years. If you don't know, I'm a single mom. I have two kids. So, two kids, ages two and four. So, that's a lot of pressure. But... Um, it still didn't make up for what was going on. Like, the anxiety, depression was like way, way overboard. And my doctor gave me some medicine for it. And I'm just like, you know, I sat down, I thought about it. I considered taking it. And then I told myself, no, I'm not taking this. Like, this ain't me. I'm not a depressed person. Like, I'm not about to self-medicate with something. And the cause of it is something else. Then I started thinking like, man, is it the birth control? Hmm, nah, and I swept it under the rug and I just didn't take the medicine and I just pushed through it. But um, recently, I, just, I still have spells of like getting really sad, um, crying, 
and that's not me like i'm not a, i'm not a i'm not that sensitive like i i'm i'm criticized for being too i don't know like I'm not, I'm, that's not me. Like, I've never suffered from depression. Anxiety? Okay. Depression? No, that's not me. So, yeah, I started noticing signs of depression, signs of anxiety. And I'm not taking medication for it simply because I know it's the birth control. I just choose to deal with it other ways, writing, working out, whatever, talking to a friend, um, you know, whatever. So, that was that. Then, my face. Um, I've been battling with acne, bad acne, since I got on this birth control. And I thought it was from, like, pregnancy and postpartum, but my son is two now. I can't figure out why my face, like, if you can, you can see, I have acne. I have acne like a teenager. And don't get me wrong, I've never had a crystal clear face. Like, I would have a pimple here or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But constant breakouts like I'm having now just constantly breaking out this is a fool like no next banana mm -mm. I don't want to have to suffer from acne like a freaking teenager like nothing works you know what I'm saying and like I'm, I'm I went back to the books like back to my skincare regimen from like high school when I did have acne and nothing is clearing my skin like my skin keeps breaking this ain't out. cool this ain't what's up like mm -mm. i'm not about to be dealing with acne but my number one reason for getting rid of this birth control is the fatigue sus the fatigue is a nightmare okay i am so fatigued i am an early bird i get up at six in the morning no matter what feet hit the floor at 6 a.m you know what i'm saying whether that's me reading at 6 a.m., playing on my phone at 6 a.m., working out at 6 a.m., meditating, planning out my day, whatever the case may be, at 6 a.m., I'm woke. You feel me? So lately, I want to say what really made me say, okay, let me make that appointment. Maybe for the last four or five months, I've been struggling. Like, I've been struggling to get through my day without being burnt out you know what i'm saying it's normal for a person to work and get tired but after you sleep and recuperate you should be okay like i have days where i'm up at six i am laying in the bed for like an hour trying to pull myself out the bed school which is not like me i don't normally get up get moving get out the door but i can't do what i can't do it's like i feel my body weight when i'm pulling myself out the bed i feel myself dragging myself at the bed and so I thought it was my health so I stopped eating beef I got on a keto diet I don't drink anything besides water and v8 juice and tea by 11 a.m. in the morning after I dropped the kids off at school got them ready got them out the house by the time it's 11 I'm beat like I worked a 12-hour shift and that's not normal like yesterday I dropped the kids off. I ran a few errands. I came home. It was like 10. I slept to 3. And when I woke up, I was still tired. And I'm tired right now. Like, it's a fool. It's a fool. I feel like I don't know what's in the birth control. I was told that it wouldn't be as horrible. I think my doctor told me it was non hormonal. I could be wrong. I'm going to go back and read it again. But I just didn't understand what the heck is going on why do i feel this way i'm having anxiety i'm having emotional breakdowns i'm breaking out all over my face like a teenager like i'm going through puberty i am extremely exhausted and then the nerve after all of that i have spells of nausea spells where i'm just sick to my stomach certain stuff makes me want to puke you know what i'm saying almost like I'm pregnant like I feel like I'm pregnant the exhaustion the everything I feel like these are emotions from my pregnancy and this ain't cool like uh-uh so I just feel like this is the final straw yes my bleeding is under control no I didn't get pregnant on next one on however I might as well be that's how I feel like 
I don't, like, a lot of people tell me they gain weight on X19. Like, don't get me wrong. I did gain some weight. But after I got really skinny, I started picking my weight back up. Like, I'm going to show you what I look like now. I picked my weight back up in comparison to the other videos. I don't want to raise my shirt, but this is my weight. So, yeah, I picked my weight back up. And like I said, I've been taking care of my body, so I'm kind of like stagnant. I, I'm not losing weight and I'm not gaining weight. Considering all everything that I'm doing to lose weight, I'm still not losing weight. But I'm not gaining weight. So it's just like my weight is like neutral right now. And I think it's because of the birth control. Like if I wasn't on birth control, I feel like I would have been dropped this little 10 pounds that I'm trying to lose. Like that. I can drop 10 pounds just by not eating bread for a week. That's just how my body is. So the fact that my weight is not changing is not a good thing. It's just it's just letting me know it's something more going on with my body. I'm not happy anymore. Like I said, the bleeding had me distracted from everything that was, that was going on with my body. Waking up every day and you're bleeding would have you distracted from everything else. Like I wasn't thinking about the acne or I didn't pay attention to how tired I was because sometimes having my period makes me tired. So I'm just like, okay, I'm exhausted because of the bleeding. But once the bleeding got under control and I started to notice all these other little things that was going wrong with my body, I'm just like, what, what? You know what I'm saying? But I know a lot of the emotions and everything I'm feeling is stemming from the birth control. So next but nine, got to go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. I'm done. I don't think I want any birth control. I'll take my risk. I'll use condoms. I'll go buy some plan B's. Call me what you want to call me. Say what you want to say. But this, this birth control is not for me. I don't think it's for nobody. I think, you see that? You can see it. You know, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm ending this relationship. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to, I don't want to deal anymore. Um, I'm cool. Like, that's all I can say. I'm cool on this birth control. And if you're watching this video, and you're on next one on, or if you're thinking about getting on next one I don't want to say don't do it. But if it was me, if I knew then what I know now, I wouldn't have done it. I would have tried the pill. I don't want anything else that's inserted in my body. I'd rather pop something that's going to wear off or whatever. Like, I don't know how that works, but as far as something in my veins, in my body 24-7, like this, um, no. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I'm starting to yarn. Told y'all I feel tired right now. So I'll go ahead and end this video here. If you have the next one, comment below and let me know if you had some of the same symptoms. If you took the next one on out, let me know how was your transition with taking your next one on out. How soon did it take for you to recover and feel like yourself again? If you're thinking about getting next one on, don't. Don't do it, sis. It's a trap. It's not worth it. Try something else. This is a very toxic birth control. Okay? You're hearing it from the horse's mouth. Don't do it. Okay? All right. So I appreciate you all for watching this video. Thumbs up if you did enjoy it. If you didn't enjoy it, just exit out. Don't be hitting the thumbs down, sis. It's not even worth it. Don't do that. Don't do that. But I'll catch y'all in my next video. It's been a pleasure. Bye.